Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's hopes of success as content creators are pinned on products focusing on their lives, a commentator has suggested. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in late 2022 have struck multi-year deals with streaming giants Spotify and Netflix. These announcements came just a few months after Meghan and Harry had officially stepped down as full-time members of the firm. The Spotify announcement was followed by the release of a holiday episode hosted by both the Duke and Duchess, during which they reflected on 2020 and hosted an array of guests sharing their inspirations, reflections and ideas. The special episode ended with Meghan and Harry's son Archie Harrison wishing all listeners a Happy New Year, the first few words the toddler ever said to members of the public. Over the following months, the Duke and Duchess announced the production of two Netflix shows. The first is Heart of Invictus, a docuseries focused on participants in the 2020 Invictus Games which took place earlier this year at The Hague. The second statement was about Pearl, an animated series for which Meghan would have been one of the executive producers. However, the show has been axed earlier this year as part of a wider cost-cutting move by Netflix. In March, Spotify announced the Duchess was to launch her first podcast series this summer, but did not provide a date. Titled Archetypes, it will see Meghan and her expert guests looking into the labels that try to hold women back. Separately from his Netflix and Spotify deals, Prince Harry also announced last July he is penning an intimate memoir focused on his life from childhood to fatherhood, and will donate his proceeds to charity. Following these announcements, the royals have yet to release any of their finished products. Noting little has so far been released by Archuil's production powerhouses, commentator Guy Martin wrote in Forbes. When we last visited some of the deals drawn and generated by the principles of the budding foundation slash political engagement engine slash entertainment production house slash self betterment entity slash lifestyle empire, there was the problem of content. They haven't managed to make that problem go away. Concretely, that means that there is a large creme de la creme superstructure of Hollywood, production, and Silicon Valley talent across our tools divisions. However, Mr. Martin added. There has been no product besides the announced ongoing production of Heart of Invictus and the rumored creation of a docuseries about Meghan and Harry's work and lives. He noted Harry also released in May last year the mental health docuseries The Me You Can't See he co-created with Oprah Winfrey, however, this show had been announced when Meghan and Harry were still working royals and, published by Apple TV+, is not part of the Sussex's deal with Netflix. He added, the couple has a lot riding on this autobiography and on the Netflix documentary of their lives. In other words, ever since Prince Harry announced that he would be releasing a memoir in 2022, reports have suggested that the royals are on edge, to say the least. One expert even said they were quaking in their boots, since the announcement he would be writing the book came on the heels of the explosive interview Prince Harry and Meghan Markle gave to Oprah, opening up about their treatment within the royal family from its other members. In particular, speculation abounded that the memoir would be very critical of Prince Charles and how he acted around Meghan. Well those nervous royals can breathe easier now that fall book announcements have come out and Harry's memoir is nowhere to be seen. For the Daily Mail, that omission would almost certainly not have happened if the book were really coming out in 2022 as intended. In fact, publicity around the book would have already been well underway by summer if its original timeline was on track, says the publication. The absence of any word at all, therefore, means we're looking at a publication date sometimes next year, or beyond. Of course, that's still speculative, there's been no formal announcement that the book is delayed. But the missing announcements have caused some people close to the royals to wonder what the deal is. One insider told The Sun, if this book's coming out this year as originally planned it should be in the publisher's marketing and promotional list, unless they're planning a surprise or there's been a delay, its omission has raised lots of eyebrows in royal circles. Then again, there was speculation earlier this year that Harry might delay the memoir from 2022 to avoid disrespecting the Queen during her Platinum Jubilee. Plus, if the rumors that Harry may slowly plan a return to royal life are true, maybe that memoir would throw an unnecessary wrench in his future plans. And if those rumors are true, well, let's not hold our breaths for this book.